this video shows how the online health information aid website can help with your everyday health information needs. Let's meet Sarah. She's 25 years old and single. She lives in Montreal and works in a private company. She speaks English and French. Lately, Sarah has been suffering from low back pain. She suspects it is due to working from home for long hours. She wants to look up information on back pain, but she's not familiar with health-related websites because she never had to do it before, being young and generally healthy. At her public library, a librarian recommends the online health information aid website. Sarah goes to healthsanteinfo.ca to check it out. The useful websites page catches her eye. She starts browsing a list of general health information websites. She reads that the highly ranked Mayo Clinic provides trustworthy information on diseases and health conditions. It sounds exactly like what she's looking for. So she plans to go to the Mayo Clinic website and search for back pain. Sarah continues to explore the online health information aid website. She reads the searching tips on how to use the Boolean operators and or not. She then watches the video tutorial about using quotation marks for phrase searching. She finds the tips interesting and helpful. and continues to read more on how to better search with Google. She finds out that Google learns from how we search and then adapts its results for each person. So when two people search for the exact same thing using the same words, Google will produce different results. Sarah continues to explore the online health information aid website and realizes that it can also help her prepare for an appointment with a doctor. Her parents are in their 70s. In particular, Sarah's mom has high cholesterol, but does not take the medication because of its side effects. She has a doctor's appointment soon. She's worried about going alone and asked Sarah to come with her. Before the visit, Sarah wants to prepare for talking with the doctor. She goes to the Help You Use page and clicks on the Discussing tab. She then checks resources recommended on the website with her mom to be better prepared for the doctor's appointment. After the visit with the doctor, Sarah is most concerned about the dangers of not taking the medicine. She wants to know more about cholesterol and how to find out what information is trustworthy. She goes to the Help You Evaluate page and reads about the key questions for evaluating health information. Who provides the information? Look for information provided by governments, hospitals, universities, or libraries. Beware when you cannot clearly identify the author or the publisher, or it is not clear how to contact them. What information is presented? Look for information based on scientific research evidence or professional medical training and experience. Beware of websites promoting non-toxic, holistic, or miraculous treatments. Where is the information from? Look for references to original research studies published in scientific journals. Beware when the information is based on only one study. Why does the website exist? Look for who funds the website.
beware of websites that ask for payment or your personal information. When was the information published? Look for when the website was last updated, usually found at the bottom of the page. Beware if links to other sources do not work. After going through all the materials together, Sarah and her mom have a better idea of the medication for high cholesterol and its side effects. Both of them feel less worried and more comfortable with future doctor's appointments.